Hello. Hello iOS fans. It's the Agents of Weird Hollow. And in this video, we're going to give you five things you need to know about the Toxic Terrors deck in three minutes. Number one. It has some dirty, dirty cards. It has some of the dirtiest ploys in the game. Yeah. Freezing Venom, Insect Swarm and Ill Prepared. Definitely they will horrible. ruin your opponent's day. Number two. The upgrades can be a little weak, but you do have to have them on. You do need at least five or six to help you score a lot of your objectives, but a lot of them are dependent on either your fighter or the attacker having poisons on them at the same time, so there's some synergies you need to get there. Number three. You have to be really careful with your objectives. There are lots of them that rely on having poisons that persist, and you can end up in a position where you kind of put a poison that just weakens a fighter, but then you can't attack them because you need it to persist, and if you yep. attack them, it goes, and then you can't score your objectives. If expunge comes out at the wrong time, it's a nightmare. Expunge, you have to have discard a poison, but you have to have three in your discard deck. Yep. If it comes out at the beginning, very hard to score. Or if you end up taking one off at the wrong time, then it just it messes up expunge, which is not ideal. Number four. They do, however, persist until the end of the round, which means you can score those persisting poison objectives in the end phase still, looking at expunged again there. Number five. Carve a path requires that you make attack actions. Mass poisonings needs to be successful attack actions. Mm. Mass poisonings is worth two, so it is, it is better. Uh, carve a path is your leader, but um, yeah. It's an important distinction to make, which I, I didn't notice in one game. But there can be a trap, mass poisonings, especially early in the game, because if you miss an attack, it's, You're stuck stuck. it's worth two. It's a surge, feels great, but you can get it can keep bricking your hand. And a bonus one. The Toxic Terrors deck uh, synergizes really well with the Soul Raid. Lots of you commented on that in a previous video that this would be the case, and you are absolutely right. Um, there's the, the objective lurk in wait, which is uh, really easy to score because you've got the fish, um, and they have the soul raid have a couple of really strong poisons of their own. They've got spine toxin and terranite venom, which I think is as good as anything that's in the toxic terrorist deck. So it is a really good synergy. So there you go. There's five things you need to know about the toxic terrorist deck. Do let us know in the comments below what anything that you can think of about Toxic Terrors. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe and ring that bell. And if you do fancy it, you can support us on Patreon. And you get lots of bonus games over there and you get to chat freely with us in our Discord. So see you soon in the Weird Hollow. 